Well, hello, my dear creative, it's Olga Sarakina here, and in today's tutorial, I will share with you my four steps of how to mount paper to wood panel for watercolor work. So if you love watercolor and interested in this topic, watch this video till the very, very end. So this is the final result of our today's step-by-step -step a lesson and I'm mounting this paper for a very specific work with interior in watercolor and old school layering technique, which is sometimes also called Lisirovki technique. Of course, there are other methods like this one when you simply use a tape to fix your paper, but I do prefer this method with a panel. Uh, I was taught it when I was studying uh, interior architecture back in St. Petersburg, Stiglitz Art Academy. All you will need is a panel, buttons, a glass of water, and of course, paper. You can use watercolor paper, advising you to use paper which is at least 300 grams per square meters. Uh, I mean, it's thickness. But I'll be using a regular paper. It's quite thick, but it's smooth. And I do prefer for my interior drawings the smooth kind of paper and not textured one, uh, which is very characteristic feature of all watercolor papers. Step one is to wet your paper. I simply use my hands and I apply very silky movements to smoothly distribute water across all the paper. So I aim for even level, uh, even amount of water throughout the entire paper surface. Optionally, you might use a sponge the main idea is that all the movements should be very gentle, very soft to avoid uh, creating these flakes on paper, uh, which will appear if your movements will be too tight, too hard. You can even make an intention to create a beautiful artwork while making your paper wet. Especially with your hands, it's kind of a beautiful connection with your future work where you're stroking your piece of paper and you set your intention. But that's optional. <laughs> Step two, buttons come into play. When your paper is nice and evenly wet, it's time to start fixing it uh, to the wood panel. So I love to begin and I recommend you to start with the longest side of your panel. Of course, if it's not a like square panel, then it doesn't really matter. Another hint is to start with the center and then proceed to the edges. So since this wood panel is quite small, I'll start by putting just three buttons. Uh, to this side, I will add a bit later on a couple of more, uh, but I will switch now to the other side. Optionally, you could use even stapling method. So you have a stapler and staples, and it's actually even quicker compared to buttons. Another option is to use a glue. So you glue this side of the panel uh, and you press for the paper to be attached to the glued area, but it just generally takes longer with the glue. By the way, if you would ever find these kind of buttons uh, with this very short, as you can see, short needle, um, that would be so much easier to stretch your canvas and a panel board uh, because these buttons that I'm using right now, they have quite a long needle and it just takes longer, like to press really hard. In some cases, you can even use a hammer <laughs> uh, because, for example, ladies who have like, gentle fingers, it can be really hard for us. Okay, as you can see, I will already switch to the short part uh, to the short side of my panel and another method that i'm showing you you can use this wooden wide part of uh, the wooden panel not the side right also while we are stretching our paper please try not to overstretch it otherwise when the paper will dry out it will 
be very tight like a drum and it can even burst okay let me show you what i do with the corners very carefully very neatly think origami <laughs> and also we will pin it pin the corner uh, to the panel board it's really important for our corners to be very neat uh, otherwise the corners when the paper is dry out they will like give waves and they will look untidy so corners please pay proper attention here the closer you are to the corners of your wooden panel the more often i advise you to put these um, buttons why that's all because of strain paper straining uh, remember that for example watercolor paper is like 100 percent cotton and remember cotton and cellulose it is like these are plant fibers and they are sensitive to stretching they can stretch and uh, especially when our paper is wet it's particularly easy to stretch that's why i recommend you not to overstretch your paper because when it dries out the its strain will increase especially on the corners um this is like physics <laughs> mathematics and if paper was overstretched the pressure will be too high and the paper will break eventually all done this is how our final watercolor will look uh, on this wooden panel i eventually cut it we'll cut it together and now it's time for the paper to completely dry out you can put it on the chairs so air circulation is a bit better and uh, if you touch it and if it, and it feels a bit coolish then it means that it needs more time to dry out usually it takes a couple of hours while the paper is drying out in my online course on watercolor for interior sketching we do a preliminary study for this final work if you want to see other drawings from my online course on interior drawing and watercolor for beginners check out the direct link in the description Plus, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please share with your creative friend. Subscribe to my channels like YouTube and Instagram at School of Sketching. And thank you for watching. See you in my next video.